Please, too close right. now. We should be. I'm gonna get the, get out the chimay. Where's the chimay? You got the chimay. It's I mean, in the, yeah. It's on the bottom up. on the bottom shelf there. <laughs> and I gotta redeem myself. You gotta you've gotta blast it right in your eye, Kyle. It's <laughs> the not, only thing I'm that can happen. Hello, hello, everyone. I really, I, I sure hope I'm doing things properly right now because I could easily be screwing things up. Uh, but hi, guys. Welcome. This is Awesome Hardware, and we should hopefully be live to YouTube on my channel, Paul's Hardware. Hold on, let me switch this to gaming. Yeah, that's that's right. Okay, yeah, we're live. Cool. <laughs> this is just double checking. We're good. Uh, if you can't tell by the little counter that's that's down there, down there, <laughs> in the bottom of the corner, I am on the cusp uh, of, taint. of hitting one million subscribers. Taint. And somehow, after running doing my YouTube channel for years and years, um, this is happening to occur on a Tuesday evening, coinciding with us doing our live show, which is I just think is super special. It is pretty awesome. Uh, super special. We're, we're at 9.99, 9.57 as of right now. Oh. But let me quickly do the rest of the intro to our show. This is uh, Awesome Hardware. It's a live show. We stream to twitch.tv slash awesome hardware the entire show, uh, but we also stream to YouTube, twitch. Uh, YouTube, <laughs> to Kyle's <laughs> channel, Bitwit, <laughs> and my channel, Paul's Hardware. That's a thing. This is episode number 179. 179. And the dogs are going to start barking in just a second. Yes. Just a, a warning for headphone users. Yes. Um, but this is episode 179. Uh, we stream every Tuesday evening at 5:30 p.m. Pacific time. And we also have stores if you want to help support us. Do it. Uh, I mean, thank you all for supporting us as you have. Do with, it. Uh, with the subscriptions and everything. But my store is paulsarbret.net. You can buy stuff there. Kyle's store is bitwit.tech slash store. You can also buy stuff there. We'll thank you by shouting out your name and yelling Johnson during the after party, which is coming later, where we're going to play Apex Legends and stuff like that. It's going to be, be super awesome. Great time to um, buy the Beware of Bottleneck shirt. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is it's coming up right now because Kyle's got the... Shimei. Ready to go. It's the exact same bottle. There you go. There's the dogs. There's the dogs warning. Volume down. Volume down. Volume. We meet okay. again. Okay. Arch nemesis. Oh, oh so, so, oh, the dogs. The doggies. The dogs are the celebrating doggies. prematurely. Uh, okay, okay. Okay. Bring it back up. We've got no glasses on. That was on brief. Today. That was fine. brief. It's fine. My lovely wife has returned home. Yay. Uh, all right. What's next? What, what's going on? Um... You're did, did, your I do, did I do? <laughs> did I do? <laughs> I, I I am allowed to stop thinking. Uh, so oh, I, you're I, right. <laughs> Dang it. Hello. Hi. Yes, Hello. This is my wife and and, and my daughter. He's only thirty subs away. Coming soon. Thirty. Yeah. Nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred sixty-nine. Thirty. So, oh, let's 69. just keep it at sixty-nine. That'd be nice. Uh, <laughs> all right. What am I? the hell's going on just for oh wow oh all right i i just have a news segment for my half i'm gonna try to crank through the news it's giddy well there there's there's news i, I don't everything i don't even know if you can get through like one article no, i'm gonna about. do it right now all right, all right so let's first off for do news it. notebook check do it dell might have accidentally just uh, leaked either an nvidia geforce gtx 2050 or an rtx 2050 this is uh, actually reported or. This is actually reported by uh, a reader from the notebookcheck.net website uh, who was looking at details of this upcoming Dell G5 15 gaming laptop, 15 inch G5. Uh, found that if you, there's a little asterisk down here. So it's talking about the ports and slots on there. Uh, the number nine listed thing here is USB C display port slash USB C Thunderbolt. Uh, and there's a little asterisk, and if you click on the asterisk, <laughs> there's a little pop-up that says, "Oh, and uh, it will be on sy the USB-C Thunderbolt will be on systems with an RTX 2060, <laughs> and DisplayPort will be on systems with an RTX 2050." Nailed it. RTX 2050, of course, does not exist. <laughs> and you're fired. Has not been announced or anything. So there's multiple possibilities here. One, of course, being that you know that that it was a typo. They just they meant to put. No. GTX 1050 Ti or something like that. Probably not, because we're talking about next-gen laptops. Um, there's also, of course, a possibility that this does exist and that they had the information and it was just a web page that wasn't updated properly. Uh, 17 to go, I know. 17. It's all right. Now i got to get ah! through this. 
Gotta get to the story. Ah, here. 15 to go! Oh no, here's 15 to go. Here's the dog hero. He's he's so happy right now. He just he probably just went potty. <laughs> All right. Ew. Uh, so it would be kind of interesting to see an RTX 2050 with tensor cores for ray tracing and stuff like that. Like what? Like should that be a thing? Should that exist? You're you're so, you're so distracting right now, Kat. <laughs> Trying to talk about important I'm, news. This is newsworthy information. I'm only here. twisting the, the the thing, the the foil with every sub. Eleven to go. Eleven. Oh boy. Eleven to go. This is that's this a is twist. insane. It's a twist. Oh, oh, oh! Someone unsubbed. I gotta twist it what back. What are you gonna do with that? When I'm you tightening it, it. I'm tightening it. When it pops off, where, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna scream and run and. You have to pound not. the rest of your beer in order I'm to pour that done. into something. I'm almost done. It's fine. I'm totally fine. Whew. This is. This is intense. This is intense beer. Uh, wait. So, oh, 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 it's going down. Oh, it's now. going down. All right. <laughs> Some people. I, I, I'm, I'm tightening the bottle. This is, I'm tightening it back we, up. We have enough time now to get to get through the story. Then. Okay. Perfect. Uh, there's speculation that they might take the 1660 Ti, the the GTX 1660 Ti, rebrand it as a <laughs> as a Dude. mobile GPU, as an RTX 2050. You oh the the the. The protection's off. Oh, this is. This is I'm gonna drink it quick before. 994. Oh wow, Kyle, you're gonna be hammered. All right, it went back down. It went back down. It's fine. Probably, <laughs> probably won't even happen. No, it went back up. It went back up. 999. Oh, there's nine. It's all nines. All right, no. Okay, it went back okay. Down. No, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move my my laptop away. No, it's gonna hit a million any second. Nine, any second. Oh, a million! What? It just jumped up to a million sixteen. Oh! Oh, no, no, no. Ah! Okay. Okay, good. It's not overflowing. It's, it's not overflowing. It's I didn't fine. blind myself either. What the heck is going on right Cheers now? Cheers to a million! Cheers! Woo! Yay! Yay! Thanks, everybody. You guys rock. That's this is amazing. Oh shit! You have a million had, subscribers. Right, I'm gonna pound. I'm gonna pound this. Celebrate a million. Dude, you're in, the se- you're in the seven-digit club, bro. Oh, that's insane. Dude, chat. Whoa. Dude, chat. Oh my god. You just jumped up to a million fifty-three. A million seventy-four. <laughs> what? How did it jump? It took forever to know. go like ten subscribers and now know. it's all of a sudden a hundred more. Holy shit, isn't it? I don't know how that works. Good lord. Yay! Woo! Ah. Fucking silly. I'm gonna have some of that. There you go. Some of that shimmy there. <sighs> Feels good. Yeah. Feels Cleanse, good. Cleanse the palate. <laughs> all right. I let so me know if I, poured, now. I, if I poured too much in mine. I, I I'll give you some. No, you're fine. Okay, you're fine. Good. I was to say that. What? So what? Uh, where where'd you leave off? Do we just well, pretend no, like it I never mean, happened no, now? See, I don't care about this new. Tech yeah, who news cares? No one. Anymore. No one's even like, oh, we'll get to the next. The story, point is Paul. that this is a this is a, a monumental achievement. This is it this is. is truly something that that I, is historic, and that I think people will remember probably for the rest of their lives. Everyone watching this right now. Um, you know, they're going to know where they're going to, their kids will ask them to, to tell them stories. Where were you? Where were you when, when Paul hit, uh, a million subscribers and everything? It's the biggest thing since 9-11. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's the type of thing that hasn't really happened before. There's nothing comparable to this that has happened in the past that you could look back on and say, that's a similar thing that's happened. You can't do that. It's just, it's just this right now. And it's the, it's the best thing ever. And it's all for me. As as well as well as well it should be. <laughs> I made I made I made my wife laugh. Which is, <laughs> that is a successful joke. <laughs> which means which means that's good. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, oh, that's well really, so wait, all right, so obviously, you know, being facetious there, because Kyle already hit a million. This is like old news for him. I didn't but want now, to steal your thunder. So what? So what? Yeah. But now Welcome I need to, to ask place, you, ask because so, you've you know you've been down this path before. Like what? What happens now? What <laughs> would you know? What happens is this now? Gonna, is this there's going to be this like crazy mm. high? But then like tomorrow, am I going to wake up and be like, what is my life? What 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 do I do with my life now? Uh, it's, like how do I, it's kind of like how do I move past this? It's kind of like when you're you I, know when you're a kid and you have like you know, $99 to your name, and then you get 100 and you're like, whoa, I have triple-digit money now. 
That's what it's like. I remember that. So, remember that feeling that lasted for all of maybe an hour or so. And then, you know, it's, you know, you hit it and you're like, an that hour? was... That's a, that's an, a, I don't wanna, an hour? That's an I don't want to downplay it. I don't want to downplay it. I don't want to play it down. It's I have very one, cool. I have one hour to, like, feel... <laughs> you have one hour. Hey, of one hour of pure ecstasy pure is, uh, unbridled. Is, is like 50 dog years. <laughs> one hour and then we're getting Thai food. Oh, oh, Thai food. <laughs> we have one hour and then we're getting Thai food. Well, I'm, I'm happy about that. The, 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 the wife has spoken. Actually sounds amazing. That does. Um, I wish I was joining you. <laughs> all right, well. Um, but, yeah. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to press on with the, with the show as planned. I did, sure. I did. Plan, I do have some news stories to talk about. You uh, this that. is un, unprecedented and actually was unexpected. I, I was kind of thinking we would get close this evening and then kind of let let things go with a with a thank you and you know tomorrow hopefully wake up with a million. But I, yeah, yep. it's really really cool to have this happen and also coincide with our live show. Yeah, uh, which is crazy crazy timing. You must have a thousand viewers on Twitch right now live. That's beautiful. Amazing. Uh, Twitch too. Twitch uh, and the YouTube's maze balls and everything. Um, how do I Ooh. how do I get back on track now? Wait, how many viewers do you have on your channel? I don't. I don't. I don't know, Kyle. Well, I don't. This is the after party. I don't pay attention to just the numbers. You know, the, fifteen hundred dollars or what? dollars. Fifteen hundred viewers watching you right now on, 15, on, on YouTube. Which that's a, they equate to dollars. Every viewer is yeah. is a dollar. Everyone donate one dollar right now to Paul. If all fifteen hundred of you just donated one dollar just to say congrats, he would be a thousandaire, just like a millionaire. But right. Thousands. He'd at least have but thousands. With, but with less money. <laughs> <laughs> it's a couple less cool million. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, focus. So, uh, all right. RTX twenty fifty. Yeah, the a, things that really matter. Twenty fifty. Not life goals or achievements or years and years of, of hard work and dedication, but a leaked graphics card. So. Uh, upshot Let's here. Focus. This is this is this is a rumor. It could easily have been a typo. It could be fake. But at the same time, we know Nvidia is working on lower end graphics cards. If you're talking about their next generation of GPU architecture, the entry level price right now is for mm -hmm. the 1660 Ti, which is two hundred and eighty dollars. Right. That's that's been coming down. It, it was five hundred dollars for the 2070. When the 2070 and 2080 and 2080 Ti launched, mm -hmm. uh, came down to 350 with the 2060. Now it's 280. There's people who still, can't, who, who 280 is still too rich for their blood, which perfectly understandable. Sure. Something in the 100 to 200 dollar range would be nice to have. Yep. Fair to assume Nvidia is going to do that. Are they going to make an RTX card in that range? Hmm. I hope not. not. <laughs> I really hope not. I hope they don't make an RTX card in that range because based on the reception of the existing RTX cards, I don't think people are interested in paying some crazy premium, especially at the lower end, What's for the ray tracing uh, and you know DLSS stuff. Like that's yeah. there's 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 value in advancing those technologies in the future, but for people who are just looking for a good gaming experience, that's that's not what they want. Yeah. I also hope they don't continue to further, like, confuse the the the, the naming conventions for the cards that they're doing. Right. Uh, in particular, I hope they don't try to take a 1660 Ti and rebadge it as an RTX 2050 for mobile. Right. That is really confusing when you start crossing over from that 1600 series that they now created somehow with the 1660 Ti yeah. and the 2000 series that they have with the RTX mm -hmm. like keep those separate yeah because once they start bleeding into each other it's just going to be more confusing and people are going to get more irritated by it yeah. maybe that's what they want maybe they want to sow confusion so people like spend more money for a crappier graphics card or something but that's also stupid yeah. and we will it's continue to call it stupid and you guys listen to us will hopefully agree with that and that, and then eventually things will get better. That's how it's, that's how it's supposed to work. That's okay. All we can hope. Moving on. We talked last week. We yeah, last week we talked about uh, the USB and USB 3.2 and how 
stupid the USB 3.2 thing is because of the way they're oh, naming things and terrible. retconning names and everything. So how about throwing one more thing into the into it? USB 4. This is a specification no. that has been announced. So whereas USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2 is something that is like coming out, this is an announcement. Uh, some basic details of the specification, but not the full details of the spec. And this was announced by the USB Promoter Group. And they're calling it USB 4. And for some reason, there's no more space. Space? Yeah, there's no space anymore. Space right. for what? Between USB and 4. It's USB 4. <laughs> not USB 3. Point, like, see USB 3.2 down there's here? No 3. See that text? 4, 3. There's, 3. there's USB, and then I can highlight right there. See, I just highlighted that space. Ah. USB oh, I see. space 3.2. Right. USB 4 is USB just... Four. USB 4. USB 4. No, USB 4. There's no delay, no hesitation, no, no delay. Pause, you have to move no from the B to the 4 immediately and without hesitation. Again, further clarifying... It's us before. Us, <laughs> us before. Us before. Before. Us before what? Us before them? Us before... Five. Us. Us, us before. Us before five. Is it like UB 40 or... UB40? Is that like what a gangster says to some 40-year-old? UB40! UB40! Holy shit, you old UB40! Red, red red wine? Isn't that... Red, red wine Us before wine Is that even right, UB40? What is UB40? What is that in reference to? Yes, I'm right about that. What's UB40, though? It's the group. The group's name is UB40. The the song is Red, Red Wine. Have anyone hit wonder? Have they done anything else that I would know? Probably that not. Did anyone know? Okay. Pro- uh, uh, yeah. I... That's why I don't know who they are. Anyway, we're getting slightly... It's a good one hit wonder. ...off subject. It's a good song. I mean, if you're, yeah. like, super wasted, like, that's a great college song. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, when, you, when you're out drinking and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. Just drinking and college and stuff, and then they put that on, like, Red Red Wine or, like, Margaritaville, mm-hmm. and, Ooh, and yeah. they play those, and you're like, oh... Or Tequila. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I mean, if you that's just that'll that, that just makes you feel cool. Yeah, oh, man. kind of dance along. Maybe we can't bit. play copyright songs on Twitch. Yeah, it'd be awesome. We could just dance and drink, dance and sing and drink. Red, red tequila. So USB four, USB four, um, us before is actually going to be based on Intel's Thunderbolt protocol, which is. Kind of interesting. What? So, um, more confusing. Uh, but, but, but it's confusing. All right, don't don't immediately cast that aside as confusing. By using Intel's Thunderbolt protocol, they're able to get faster transfer speeds. So we have data transfer rates at forty gigabits per second. What's going on there, Hero? Hero, don't eat that. Is Hero? Why are you no. feeding my I dog feed- bottle no, caps? Eat it. No. Oh no. Is he chewing it? Hero, it drop out. it. Drop Hero, it. Drop it. That's a, that's a bottle cap, not a treat. Stop, stop feeding my dog bottle I caps, I didn't do Kyle. anything. Here, boy, come here. Come here. Come here. He's needy. You're so big. He's needy, isn't he's a he? a big puppy. You're a big dog. He's not a puppy. He's a monster. He's a pupper. <laughs> he's a monster pupper. He could okay. eat both of us right. alive. So, what are you talking about? UB40. UB40. And their hit song, Red Red Wine. Red Red Wine. <laughs> what? That's the fastest <laughs> band alive. 20 gigabits per second. Oh, yeah. So, UB40. Right? So that's the, 40 gigabits per it. second. Oh, 40. Okay. Obviously, that was a planned transition. <laughs> okay. You be 40 gigabits per second? Hot damn, oh, is what the, the band said when they were to, recording we need, the hit to, single to, Red Red Wine. We need to push through this so we can get to the after party where this sort of behavior is acceptable. This is like okay? a constipation episode where we're trying right. to push, but it's just not coming out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> so USB 4... I, all right, all right, all right. USB 4. I have some level of hope for USB 4 because right now it's just called USB 4. USB 4. Which is much simpler than USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2. Which is what we're currently running with when we talk about the fastest thing available with the, the spec that we talked about last week. Uh, 
Oh no, I didn't. I <laughs> don't do that. That's stupid. Uh, so, so keep. Alt F four. Delete. So keep calling part. it. So keep calling it USB four. Don't add a bunch of stupid names after that. Uh, a USB promoter group, and um, your words will not let's, be heard. And let's go over. Uh, all right, just just to round things out and give people some actual information. It's still going to be using Type C connectors. Yay! Uh, it will still so the uh, Type C connectors Type will C. be backwards compatible with USB 2.0, USB 3.2, mm -hmm. and Thunderbolt 3 interfaces. So that's cool too. Uh, that maximum data transfer rate of 40 gigabits per second will require 40 gigabits per second certified cables. Uh, this should, however, bring Thunderbolt 3 to mainstream PCs. Which is cool because Thunderbolt is a very fast and good connection standard for really fast external drives like Thunderbolt. Like there's a lot of uh, Mac external Thunderbolt drives that that are really nice and fast, like external SSDs. So mm -hmm. it's a good standard. Um, yeah. Cool. Uh, I think Diana is throwing the ball for ah. for Nori. Uh, there are over 50 companies actively participating in the final stages of development of USB 4. Let's move on. Cool. Well, that's fun and confusing. Jibo is shutting down. Oh, we're, this we're robot? Saying, saying goodbye to Jibo. <laughs> Good. That thing was there creepy as fuck. There he is. I did oh, not no, like Jibo. I, I didn't mean to go full screen there. I thought Jibo was, was stupid. Full screen's a bad idea. Jibo's stupid. Bad idea. Took up too much space. He's not stupid. He's a social robot. He's, He's a dumb. social robot. He talks to you and everything. He's However... People with no friends. Uh, he's shutting down. The servers that support Jibo are shutting down. So if you have one, he's starting to, to, to communicate sad messages to you. Uh, <laughs> well, it's not great news. The servers out there that let me do what I do are going to be turned off soon. <laughs> Is that That's, what he says? Yes. This is a quote this is a this is a quote from Jibo. Of what Jibo has been telling this is, this people is, who bought Jibo. Quoting Jibo. But by, by the way, Jibo uh, was a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo in 2014 and or, or 2015, right around that that time frame. Actually went on sale in September of 2017, a few years later, and uh, was originally sold for nine hundred dollars. Damn. Um, but they had like an Amazon fire sale for it for five hundred bucks and stuff. What a, what a bargain! Yes. Anyway, snag them up. Well, it's not great news. The servers out there that let me do what I do are going to be turned off soon. Once that happens, our interactions with each other are going to be limited. You can learn more about more at gbo.com and by tapping the "What's New" button in my menu. I want to say that I've really enjoyed our time together. Thank you very very much. For having me around. Maybe someday when robots are way more advanced than today and everyone has them in, them in their homes, you can tell yours I said hello. I wonder if they'll be able to do this. And then it dances. Because that's one of the things that Jibo does is it dances. It's oh got, yeah. It's got oh yeah. Those three... I, I forgot I forgot Jibo dances to distract you that you just bought a five to five hundred to a thousand dollar product that no longer is getting support. <laughs> Just no, to distract I mean, it's you. Still, it's still, you can still do stuff, like here, down here. I would be pissed Scrolling if I down. bought a $1,000 Jibo. And he's like, thanks, but bye. See you later. We live in an age where products that you've bought and spent your hard-earned dollars for can tell you to fuck off. But, but, I mean, but they do a little dance and jig at it, the end, it so dances. it's okay. So that's, <laughs> but that's fine. it dances, you fuck. Uh, Jibo's usefulness and functionality uh, were sort of supplanted by other devices like Alexa. Uh, um, yeah, so it's saying goodbye to people. There was another video I was going to play in here that actually was was a, the Jibo, oh, and it was it was telling it was like, hey, hey, person who bought me and who owns me now, um, here's what I can do now, and it was a really short list. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and I don't know where that I went. I can dance, and I can stop dancing. Yeah. And anyway. I can say your name. So rip Jibo. No Good more. Riddance. No more Jibo. All Good right. Riddance, you Jibo, fucker. In the land of the living and actual people, good old games, or now known as GOG, Gog. has laid off around a dozen employees, Ooh. which is about ten percent of its actual staff. Now. Wow. 
Um, it's only 120 people. Yeah. And Gog. Gog is a is a huh. digital distribu- distribution platform. They're they're listed in the 50 to 200 uh, employee category range um, on LinkedIn. Um, anyway, okay. Gog is 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 not a bad distribution platform, and it's one of those that uh, over the years has exhibited some. Uh, positive characteristics, I would say, compared to, like, Steam and whatnot. So I bring this up to say, not, like, go throw your money at GOG, but, you know, consider them as, a, as an alternative. They're stating that uh, part of the reason here... No, I'm sorry, GOG themselves have not stated that anything is wrong. They said, it. They said, yeah, we laid these employees off, but ever since we've been doing a rearranging... They're calling it rearranging... What did they call it when we were uh, back back at the company company we used to work at? They called it uh, re refuckery, <laughs> reorganization. I forget. Yes. Anyway, corporate stuff. You know, they're like, oh, we need to fire yeah. people, so let's come up some, with some words that yeah. don't sound like firing that we can use to fire people. It's like an episode of The Office. Point being, uh, they've been rearranging reorg. certain reorg. Yeah, reorg is, is common. Thanks, we, chat. We've been rearranging certain teams since October 2018, affecting and closing around a dozen positions last week. They also said that they've hired people in the same term. So, you know, there's give and take there. Um, but at least one of the employees who was let go contacted uh, PC Gamer, at least in the course of this article being written, stating that the reasons they were told they were let go was due to financial difficulties. So, you know, GOG might might be having some financial troubles at this point. We're not sure. Of course, that's the word of an employee who was recently let go. But, again, when you're let go, you're at liberty to say, why are you firing me? And, you know, if they're like, you, you suck at your job, then you might be like, all right, fair enough. But sometimes they're like, oh, we can't afford to pay you anymore. Then that is financial difficulties. Anyway. The trend toward a greater revenue share for developers when it comes to these digital distribution platforms. Uh, The Epic Games Store, for example, offers 88% of revenue to developers, which is nice. Developers should get a good cut. Uh, That's compared to the 70% that's offered by GOG and Steam. Uh, Put pressure on GOG's bottom line. So there you go. Hmm. Uh, Wow. You know, GOG was a very, um, it was kind of like the, under, well, it, it still is the underdog, but it was actually a efficient enough underdog, uh, a popular enough one to potentially combat Steam, and I feel like in recent months it hasn't been doing as great, and uh, after this latest article that you've just mentioned, Paul, it seems like they might be losing Steam. Well, I always liked because you know they used to be good old game, good old games. So they would take right. they would take older games that uh, were on older platforms or you know versions of Windows that weren't around anymore, uh, and they would say like, "All right, this game nobody plays this game anymore because it's impractical yeah. to to play Pour it. Over, yeah. um, let's see if we can on the cheap get the license for this game." Port it into our platform, you know. Takes get get some get some programmers to go and, and port it over so people who use modern modern operating systems can play it, yeah. and then we can sell the games. You know, people are willing to pay two bucks or five bucks for a game they used to play ten or fifteen years ago that they want to try out again, and they just want a seamless experience to play the game on you know on their modern modern operating system. So right. that I think that's kind of the business model that they started with. It's evolved beyond that, so it is a distribution platform for more games than that now. But I think, just in a general sense, it's good to have competition for the likes of Steam and Origin and Epic with their launcher now and everything. So um, this being a company that's roots, I think, kind of came from a good place. Um, I think, for me at least, I I have a bit bit more sympathy. So, um, you know... Go make a GOG account and buy a game if you're feeling that way. <laughs> anyway, move on. Moving on. Cinebench. Neck here in chat said, Hero is snoring. This means this discussion must end and he is no longer amused. He's over there. He's making... He's... I don't know what he's doing. Hero, he's going... What? He's eating stuff. 
Is he, he supposed to be eating stuff? I don't know. Those my, aren't bottle caps. Those no, bottle my caps. wife might have given him a snack or something. Okay, like that. I'm just making sure he's not eating like the carpet. Cinebench R20. Kyle, you better download this. I and... already have. Really? No. Oh. Uh, no. All right, so Cinebench, right? Maxon is the company that develops Cinebench. Excuse me. Yep. Uh, Cinebench R15. You guys have probably seen, if you've watched any videos that we or... <gasps> Excuse me. Or other you're tech you, or other tech you, YouTubers have done when you're talking about benchmarking a CPU. R20 is finally here. It's a here. very very common wow. CPU benchmark hmm. uh, that's used, but was getting more and more out of date because Cinebench R15 was uh, released alongside version 15 of Cinema 4D, which is the software that it's based on that it uses to render the scene, that, that it uses to test how fast your CPU can render that scene. Uh, Maxon, in the meantime, has moved on from version 15 to 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 of their software. So now we have Cinebench R20 launched to <clears throat> line up uh, with, with, with present day version of the software. There's, hey, yo. Look at that. Wow. This is now the scene that you'll probably see rendered ad nauseum. That looks like a real picture. It does look It does look very realistic. That's crazy that video games will one day look like this. And it's because, you know, it's using the CPU to render ray, to do ray tracing. I mean, it's VR will look like this one day. The light source and it bouncing off and you'll of you'll be able to run this off of your phone. Objects and everything. And it'll look that good. Of course, yeah, with the foldable glass LCD screen gla folding glass fucking crazy so it's awesome ready player one um so yeah this is available right now through the windows store or the apple app store on max you can run it on either platform if you're like ah oh, the windows store that's lame boo i kind of agree with you but there are some benefits to using the Windows Store when it comes to stuff like sandboxing and whatnot. But, it, but at least as of now, it doesn't seem like there is a just standalone installer version of this. So there, there it is. But it is at least free to download and try out. They've added AVX instructions to it, uh, which is implemented through Intel's Embry ray tracing technology. That applies to both AMD and Intel processors, by the way. So that's not something that's exclusive to Intel. Uh, and this is a purely CPU-focused test, since the GPU-focused test on the previous version was never something that was really used anyway. They've just been like, all right, we're not even going to bother with that. CPU only. It also scales beyond 64 threads now and is a larger scene in general, so uh, I have not downloaded this and ran it yet. Neither have I. But the article, uh, which is from Anantech, <clears throat> has some scores for various CPUs. Uh, which you guys can check out if you want, you know, like a 1700X 8-core from Ry the Ryzen gets 3,455 points. A 7700K, which is only a 4-core 8 thread, gets 2,420 points. These are the preloaded scores, by the way, that the, the, the benchmark ships mm. with. Um... There's they, also some single-core numbers here. Are they different scores than what R15 would put out? Yes, it's actual... it's a different test. Okay. Um, but you know, when whenever you load up R15 and you run the test and it pops up your score, it always has those comparison yeah, scores. Right. Those, These are just the th presets. Those are scores. just the default yeah. presets. You know, they right. made the test. They ran it on these CPUs. Mm -hmm. They loaded with they loaded it with those by default. I so. always wish they had more options. They have like well, I mean, five or if, six. If, I wish if, they had like if you 30, if you want to get fancy, you can save the file. There's it. It saves like your test results. Well, yeah, I know. You that. can copy that from the system to system, and then you can yeah. see all your history of test results in there too. Sure, I know. I just I would like it if they did all the work. If they for me. did that for you, that, me too. Who would that would that. be nice if they did that. It'd be sweet. Okay, moving on. Moving on. MSI monitors could save your life. <gasps> Ooh, this is interesting. That's perhaps perhaps a slight exaggeration. I'm intrigued. This tweet actually was shared by uh, Anshul. Uh, really? Our, our friend. And that, so that's how I came Good across old it. But this is Eric Gann, uh, or Eric Gann98 on Twitter, who posted this. And uh, he, unfortunately, had a shooting in his neighborhood. What? Uh, which, <laughs> which sucks. Like, like in... 
a first person shooter? No, like there was a shooting in his neighborhood that he just was oh no, there's now bullets coming through my wall. What? Like this hole right there behind him. It, it apparently was a party that was going on, so like, you know, really, really stupid people firing a gun, random shots at a party. Yeah, fire. So that sucks. Party. But the point being, yeah. there's, there's the cops outside and everything. It's real when the cops are there. But the point being, this is his mm. MSI monitor. It took a bullet? Which took a bullet from this shooting. What? And survived. Was he gaming on it at the time? That's not made clear. That would House be... just got shot by a random stranger. MSI monitor got hit. How immersive would that be? Blocked the bullet <laughs> and still functioning. Look at that. It still works. Bullet hole in the wall. <laughs> monitor still looking perfect. Amazing. Hell yeah. And if he was gaming on it while it happened, that would be super impressive. That would be even more impressive. Uh, he said there's a total of five shots in his and his friend's room. That's a feature. Which sucks. But Damn. I mean, I'm glad no one got hurt. He, he updated that uh, there, there were random shots, and there was a party. It was at 4 a.m. <laughs> RG bullet. Um, so, yeah, it came through the wall. And, however, though, however, MSI got in touch with him. Said, nice to meet you, social media manager. Got in touch. Basically, they <clears> said <throat> they'd love to send you a new monitor and some swag. That's nice. So, even though For almost the MSI monitor took the bullet... And it's still functional. MSI is like, hey, we're going to send you a new one. We don't want you to have to deal with that monitor with the bullet in the back. But I'm going to guess that Eric here is now going to be rocking probably a dual monitor setup. Yeah. The one that took the bullet and still works just fine. And yeah, the new no, one that not? MSI is going to send over. Hey. Good job, MSI. What, way to be on top of that social media. My monitor got shot. Um, this, is, this is where the bullet actually penetrated the monitor. Does it say what gun it was? I do not believe that is made clear. What's this? Oh, yeah. Fans, there's, uh, like, they the bullet came in and ricocheted and hit the fan and stuff like that. Jeez. This is a, this is a great, Samuel <laughs> Chang did a great, great response to that. Okay, Beautiful. so, uh, MSI monitors. They will save your life. Save, could possibly save your life. It's in the main shot. features now. Okay. Kevlar technology. One more thing to mention here, Kyle. Huh? You talked on your half of the show, I believe, about Apex Legends. I did. And it... True. Stop yawning. I'm not. Just because you pounded that beer. I'm not... No. You talked about... more beard How pound. quickly Apex Legends has gained players. I Here did. is a, a... This is from a Round Hill Investments. Incidentally, this was also from Anshul. Anshul, I don't know if you... You probably don't watch get, our show, but maybe if you do. Good job on your 5G coverage. Anyway, here is Apex Legends versus Fortnite. Fortnite is the green line here. There's Apex <clears throat> Legends. Just in case you wanted a visual representation of how quickly Apex Legends has gained popularity, in particular in comparison to Fortnite. The one thing that I'm kind of sad about here is that there's no, com there's no central aggregator of gaming popularity, right? Um, right, like, one like on Steam, trusted source. When Steam was the only real game in town, when it came to PC Steam, gaming, Steam was the game. I mean, when Steam was the only real like thing that people were Client. using to play PC games. Yeah, um, which but never really was the case because you had World of Warcraft and other stuff like that. But you know, I, I you could kind of go in that one central hub. place and be like, all right, what's the most popular game? All right, this new game has come up. There was a there was a, uh, a, a an, an animation I saw earlier this week that was just the history, so, like the last 10 years of Steam and like the most popular games on Steam. It was basically Dota 2 the whole time mm -hmm. with other, other games kind of coming yep. coming up here and there. But anyway, point being, like Fortnite, Apex Legends, they're on different platforms. So you can't really look at that and be like, all right, right. Fort Apex Legends picking up this much popularity this quickly Fortnite, you'd have to assume is is some has seen some players leave, but anyway, a direct comparison I think would be interesting would be nice. to see. Yeah, but of course we can't do that. And you know that figure right there, that two hundred million uh, for for Fortnite includes mobile, uh, all the mobile downloads and games. Yes. Uh, whereas Apex is strictly on one platform, PC. 
and Fortnite. Apex Legends is also on console. Oh, I'm sorry, Fortnite is. I'm sorry, Apex is that that number that figure accounts for the three platforms: Xbox, PS4, and PC. Whereas Fortnite, all the figures you're seeing here account for the mobile version of it as well. Yes, the mobile version does give many, many more players access to it. Many, so. many more. So there you go. Many, many more. But there it is. Uh, that's linked in the description if you guys want to look at the tweet itself. Uh, we are going to end <gasps> my half of the show, though. So thank you so much for watching. This has been amazing. Thank you all for subscribing. Well over a million subscribers now. Ah! That's fantastic. We're going to switch over to the after party. Yeah. Where we're going to play games. I'm going to do it. And drink some more beer. Yes. And you guys are welcome to join us. You so, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, the link to the after party is in the description if you want to go check that out. And if you're watching on Twitch, just stay where you are. Doing it right. Kyle's really excited. He's already I'm I'm, I'm getting He's ready already so mid trans mid transition. All right. We'll be right back, guys. Look at this. You got to monitor. I got to monitor everything.